Hi, this is Darshan Dalal for Al Arabiya English and I'm here at the Dubai Air Show which is one of the major trade fairs for the global aviation industry. It's the fifth and the final day of the event and over the past four days we have seen massive deals being signed with Emirates Airlines alone signing for over 100 new aircrafts worth 58 billion US dollars. But apart from those massive deals and big names here, this thing behind me is also grabbing the headlines. And as you can see, a lot of people are coming here to have a look at it. It looks like a fancy plane or a helicopter, but it's not. It is a flying taxi. I'm joined by Billy Nolan, who is the chief safety officer for Archer Aviation, which is the maker of this flying taxi. So thanks for having me. Behind me is Archer's Midnight Aircraft. It is an electric vertical takeoff and landing uh, aircraft, something that takes off like a helicopter, flies like an airplane, lands like a helicopter. We think of it as an urban air taxi is what some people refer to it as. It has the capability of carrying a pilot plus four, pa uh, plus four passengers and their carry-on baggage uh, for a distance of up to 100 miles at a speed of 150 miles per hour. Our motto at Archer is to unlock the skies, so we believe this will allow us to reimagine how we move and how we live in the future. Our business model was to think about what was the outcome that we wanted to achieve and then design an aircraft to fit that business model. That's not the way every you know, engineer, entrepreneur works, right? So when we thought about what makes sense in terms of affordability, in terms of operational, having a pilot plus four seats, it makes perfect sense in our business use case. We are working very diligently through the certification pathway with the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration in the United States. Uh, prior to coming to Archer, I was the acting FAA administrator. So a lot of the rule sets I put in place during my time there. When we think about operations here in the UAE, Think of an air corridor between Dubai and Abu Dhabi, something that takes you about 90 minutes today, could take you 25 minutes uh, on Archer Midnight. If you think about from Dubai International Airport to the Palm or here from Dubai to LIN or Abu Dhabi as well. So there's quite a few use cases that we have thought of and we are working with major stakeholders here in the UAE to, to continue to lay out our operational plans. You've seen some of our announcements. Our major partner in the United States, United Airlines, our major business partner on the manufacturing side, Stellantis is one of the world's largest automotive manufacturers, right? So when we think about the region, we think there's a lot of use cases here in the UAE. We've already announced a major deal in India as well. So we see coming to market first in the US in 2025, and then coming to the region here in the UAE in 2026, and coming to India as well in 2026. There could be others, but that's what we've announced to date. If you think about where we are, our cities are fairly congested. You think about the time even here, a good example. So I'm this week during the air show, which is a phenomenal air show, by the way, I'm staying in Jamara. It's taken me about an hour to an hour and a half to get here each day just with traffic, something that I could do on midnight in about 10 to 15 minutes. So if I think about how we decongest our, our, our densely populated cities, how we contribute to zero carbon emissions, how do we contribute to sustainability? It is very accessible, it is affordable. So all of those things, we believe it's a strong market for it. And we, we believe the demand will just ex increase exponentially as midnight comes to market. Our rotors turn at a lower speed, but it has a high level of torque. So when you think about Archer Midnight, this aircraft has a noise signature that's nearly a hundred times less than a conventional helicopter. So you've got something that is very neighbor friendly in terms of its noise signature. It is architected in a way to give us the amount of performance that we want and that we need. Uh, and we think it's a really cool design uh, to beat.